Hi, this is Johnny. Uh, this machine is not hacked because last time I unhacked it. Okay. And we also have another question somebody asked me is, let me turn this off. So the off button and on button work because it is the original uh, firmware. It doesn't have the hack in it. So let me turn it back on and power it on. And we're going to look at it and see See, it doesn't have the, the hack in it. So we're gonna go ahead and hack this again. Uh, if, you haven't if you haven't seen the one that was hacked, uh, I will refer you to that link. This one just mainly just, just showing you again how I hack it uh, in case somebody went into some question about how I hack it. Okay, so this one was, was hacked and then we unhack it and now it's back to stock framework. So I wanted to hack this. So what you do is unplug both of them, okay? And then run the program, uh, which is when you unzip it, it will be over here. So let me zoom into the computer. So we could see the screen better. Okay, so we unzip this one and then we also unzip this image. Now, I have not put the image in here. I just put in my uh, my 128 gig image in there. So I, I, I believe you don't need any, any image in there to hack this. So you just go into the hack. Uh, make sure you download the classic driver, okay? And then you download this one, okay? So when you run this program, it's going to, uh, it's going to install the SUB directory, okay? So I'm just running it again just to show you. So you have to run the two driver. If it's your first time ever hack it, you're gonna run that program and it's gonna install the driver. Now it says successful. So the driver is installing is actually, uh, let me move the screen. The driver is installing is USB driver, okay? So I guess you could just close it. It says successful. Then you run in, run this program. Now, normally when you run this program, if it doesn't show anything, in my opinion, it doesn't work. Like it doesn't show anything here. But people still say, go ahead and run the install anyway. So if, you, if it's your first time, go ahead and run the install. So click on that. Okay, and it's gonna say successful install. And when you download the, the classic uh, driver, you want to put it inside the egret 2 folder, okay, where the program is, all right? And then you also want to download this one inside this program in here, and then run both of them at the same time. I mean, not the same time, but you need to run it, okay? So after everything is running, then, oh, by the way, when you run that, you have to plug in the cable. So, okay, it's finished, it's successful. All right, so we, I guess you have to plug something in. You cannot just run it without plugging the, the USB. Now, the USB port, you need to plug into port number two, okay? So you have to, uh, you need to, not have to, but you need to plug into port uh, number two. So I think I just dropped my floppy disk. Let me unplug this so you can see better. There's a USB uh, port number two, so you want to plug that into, and then this one go into PC or laptop. Yep, I just lost my uh, SD card. All right, and my understanding by talking to the people who who will test this, and uh, they say that you don't need the 32 gig to restore. You just run restore the batch file. It should just work. Okay. So just FYI, if it doesn't work, then go back and burn the SD 32 gig, uh, like I suggested to restore it back, you know, if you need to. So there's, those are two video. One video is how to, how to upgrade the firmware. And you, you do want to upgrade the firmware to 1.1 because you have the patches, okay? And then after that, then you, you hack it. And then there's another video to show you how to unhack it, okay? So watch those if you want 
know how to do those. Now this one is just hacking it. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and close that. Let me run that program again, uh, having it plug in. Uh, let me plug the power in too, because I think you need to have both of them plug in in order to run that program successfully. Okay. And he still doesn't see anything, okay? So you just run install. Yeah, the, the system is, is coming up right now because I plugged the power in. Now you want to leave this, you want to leave the console on. You just want to unplug it. Don't turn this off, okay? So when we are hacking it, you want to keep this thing on, okay? You want to keep it on, okay? Not off, okay, but on, all right? And then when you're ready to hack it, you're going to unplug both of them, all right? So let's, let's sit there. I'm gonna cancel that out because I know this machine will work with this hack because I did it like three times already. So we're gonna just go ahead and close it. While it's successful, it's finished. All right, so this program, you need to download it to that folder whatever folder you call it. I happen to call it the same name that the download folder is when I download it. So once you run that, you're gonna run a batch file called uh, backup and install. So you're gonna click on that, okay? Don't get panicked or anything. Take your time because it's gonna do, do a couple of seconds before it will, it will cancel. So what you wanna do is what I normally do is plug the USB port in first, okay? So I'm going to press enter, okay, press, press enter, all right? Then plug in the USB port 2, and then plug in the power, okay? And then let it sit there, and then that thing should start working, okay? So yeah, you got plenty of time to plug it, all right? So once you finish plugging in, uh, this new screen will show up. Now, if you, I, I think I did it kind of slow, but let's see if it work. If it's not work, we will do a little bit faster. Okay, work. Okay. So that's it. You you press enter. Okay, let me show you. You, you press enter first. Enter, and then plug, plug, and then enter again. And then it's hacking it. And the SD card that I'm putting here is a 128 gig. Okay. Is the original, the one that I uh, that I put together. Now the one I put together, it came from the person uh, deserved the credit. I don't speak Spanish, but he is in uh, in a tele uh, in Telegram, and he's in uh, in uh, Igrid Two. Uh, he's the one who put the the image out for people. Okay. So once that disappear, uh, you could turn the screen over to this side and it, it actually disconnect itself and I think it's going to reconnect back on. Now, if it doesn't reconnect, if it doesn't reboot, do you just unplug it, okay? So the one you want to unplug is is this one you don't need that one no more so let's unplug this one okay and the system is booting up and there you go there's a hack that's it very simple so if it's if it stay black screen just unplug this one because you don't need no more and then if you have your SD card already created now I created a another copy of the 128 now, for some reason, this 128 gig that I bought from uh, uh, SanDisk, it was a little bit smaller than the original. So, but it still let me write the image to it. So, hey, it worked. So this this one, the size of the 128 gig is a little bit smaller than the one I gave you guys. But if you use uh, if you use the uh, Window 32x burner, it should work. Okay. All right. So now the another question somebody asked me was how you get to the uh, how you get to the arcade, the virtual art, because this is not like Raspberry Pi 
that you could, you have an option to go to RetroArt because it's using different emulator. So what I do is I, I just go to the, the port, go in, not sure which one is the A button. Okay, that's the A button. And it give you a different uh, choice, okay? You could go to Capcom, you could go to OLK, you know, Capcom, Capcom, SNK, 145, and a vertical game, which you just turn the, the screen. And that's what I like about this console is it allows you to do that. Allow you to uh, turn the screen. All right, so we just go ahead and uh, start a, a game. There's so many subfolder. So because it's break down to different category like Sega Classic, Ooh. okay, Sega Classic and all that stuff. So let's go to Sega Classic. Let's see what we have. All right, so let's 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 try that one. So when you press enter, I believe you press the purple color and an X. Well, inside the game, when you when the game is already running, you press those two buttons. Uh, it's not like like Raspberry Pi give you the option to go into the button. So like this one did not work. Okay, so that means that emulator that that we use do not work, but we don't know what we use. So you have to press either select or star. And you're gonna go to advanced, let me see. So if a game do not work, you're gonna go, let me try, let me try stop button, see if that. Okay, game setting, press A. Okay, upgrade game list. Game ratio. Okay, so it's not it's not the star button. Okay, so we're gonna press uh, B. So let me s turn the screen there a bit so you can see. So I'm gonna press star again. Press select. Okay, and then we are going to. All right, let's try this one. Okay, yeah, it's that one. So you want to choose the advanced song. Uh, I have there's so many different versions. Sometimes I have to think twice before. Okay, so right now it's choosing May 78 plus and that did not work. So you want to choose press A again and then choose the the 2010, the 0.39. Let's choose that one. Okay. Alright, so we're gonna press B and B and then now let's try the game again. So that's how you will change a different emulator uh, using the front end uh, Batocella, 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 and it works. Okay, so Batocella is uh, is the the front end, and but the back end is retro art. All right, so that game now work. So you just have to choose different. Uh, emulator by going to the you're gonna press the select button and then you're gonna choose advanced setting and then you're gonna choose the emulator that's all I did and uh, if you want to go to uh, for example you want to remap the controller you want to go to retro art I believe you press select and X same time 